What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Good to see you all again. Let's talk about Bed Bath & Beyond. As always, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. It's just for entertainment purposes only, so let's be entertained. Let's take a look at the ore text to kick things off, then we'll talk about the charts and consider Max Payne as well, just to see kind of where we are sitting. Live short interest sitting at 46.92% of the free float. 32.58 million shares short as an estimate there. Cost to borrow sitting at 30.34%. Utilization supposedly 100%. So looking very good as far as a short squeeze type play would go. Um, I, I'm not saying diamond hand this thing, sit on it type of thing, but we will get that volatility. You'll be able to play it. And uh, what I do like is how the charts overall are looking as as we kind of zoom out and look at the last couple days, it's respecting the FIB lines very well. And it tested the gap fill, but actually bounced off the 618, which was perfectly fine. Came up, we had a little bit of uh, action at the 50 line, but it came back down to test that gap again. Now I've been a little concerned about that gap, but I think since we've made two bounces off of it as of right now, with the markets going good in an overall sense, Maybe it will just wait to come back and fill the rest of that gap later. I mean, it's only missing, you know, I don't know, what was it, like 20 cents or something. So, I, I mean, I think if the markets are running, maybe it'll allow Bed Bath & Beyond to continue up going in the right direction as of right now. But like I said, it is respecting these fib lines very nice. So right now it's just hugging that 382 so making some nice consolidation there i kind of want to see what goes on this has been actually charting pretty nice along with like what amc was doing now i, I don't care if you're a gme person it's not your stock gme it's not trending like you are just because cohen has some calls out there so if you look at it you can kind of see what's going on there which is what i i, I want to see if AMC is going to make a bullish move tomorrow, and if so, or if Bed Bath & Beyond is, because I think the two are kind of pushing each other to a degree, one leading the pack or the other, and I don't care which one does it, as long as one of them's pushing and one of them's following, great. So all in all, I think on the shorter time, so I want to see us get through this channel too. Uh, the 1094 to 1160-ish range, I think if we can just blast through there with some strength, there's a lot of noise that comes in right there, and it's it's just, I don't want it to be a headache. Um, don't want to get hung up there. I would like to see it just move right on through there because there has not been a whole lot of trading in up above this channel of the 236 line. So if we get above 1162, I think things could get really fun really quick. Um, been a long time since... Bed Bath & Beyond spent any time really up there in the past so I think I think that would be a, a nice Friday bump if um, you know if AMC or any of the meme stocks or even Bed Bath & Beyond wants to do its thing and push the rest of the memes fine by me but if they can get through here on Friday that would be a nice move so what I did I think it's gonna get just a little bit silly for a short time here in the in the after hours but i i don't expect it to go down too much i'm kind of watching this 200 it's been it's been holding pretty decent at the 200 ma as far as the shorter time frames go so um i, I want to see it hold up on the 200 and just either make its bounce here a little bit later into the af after hours or even in the pre-market but i do kind of have a, a feeling that this could get a little bit bullish so I'm looking to see if it makes a move in the after hours or pre-market at some point. Actually, I, I don't usually hold calls overnight, but right at the end of the day, I was kind of liking this setup that it had going on, and I wanted to see if there was going to be that little push, and I didn't want to miss it. So if it happened you know, overnight, I wanted to be there for it. Um, not always the smartest idea because I don't like to guess what's going to happen. I just like to play the trend, but um, on this one, at this instance, I, I thought it was worth rolling the dice for me. So I rolled the dice right at the end of the day to see if we're going to get a little bit of a push up, and uh, I think it'll come. I mean, I'm, I might be wrong, but I, I think that we will get that push up. The max pain is clocking in at $9, I think, as of right now. So however much faith you put into the max pain, Seems to work out well for some of the other stocks, but uh, I haven't been following Bed Bath & Beyond or the Max Payne calculator or all of that to even know how it works. But I, I think I think we're 
sitting pretty. So I'm not too worried about Max Payne, and I think the markets are looking good, so I think that will also help drag it up and above there. So I'm not too overly concerned that it's going to get sucked back down to $9.00. Um, it could, but I, that's not what's on my focus right now because I think the SPY made a nice little retracement today, and I still think overall we have room to run in the overall markets. I don't, I don't think it's ready to head back down, but uh, that'll come in, in the very near future, but I don't think tomorrow is going to be that day. I might be wrong on that too, but I, I'm planning on a slightly bullish market tomorrow, which is allowing Bed Bath & Beyond to make a nice move up. I think the call options will probably help when, you know, once we get stepping into here, we just need to get a little, another try. I think another attempt and it could hold and run right through there. So that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm watching for tomorrow. The RSI overall, I mean, it seems fine in the, uh, you know, setting slightly higher lows. It, it's sitting right around 52 on the RSI for the one hour or so. Definitely, as long as it bumps its way up right here, it should continue to make that upward trajectory, I would guess. Um, but it is just a guess. So, like I said, it, we'll just see what happens. But I'm a little bullish as far as tomorrow goes. So, thanks for coming back, guys. Uh, good to see you all again. If you don't mind, you can drop a like or subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the updates. As always, stay golden, people, and may your accounts stay green.